and yeah. that it had a relationship or a likely relationship to global warming? Uh, yes, I did, yeah. Uh, I think it, I, I wrote it within about a week of, of that earthquake. Yeah, uh, I have, I wrote about it uh, and gave it a name, and this name is, is actually already uh, a common name, and that is called a glacial quake. And by that, we mean that uh, the, these earthquakes are caused by glacial melting. And glacial melting, when it is uh, on a huge scale, as in the Himalayas, it will affect a lot of the geology of that area. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a huge amount of weight sitting on the Himalayas. I mean, not just the uh, Himalaya, Himalayas, but the entire range, which is, you know, hundreds of miles long. And there are two or three thousand glaciers, and each one are, you know, miles long and sort of hundreds of meters wide, maybe a couple of miles deep. Well, not quite as deep uh, as Greenland, for example. Greenland is a couple of miles de uh, deep, but, it, but you know, a lot of the glaciers are uh, hundreds of meters deep, I can say. And uh, so it's a huge amount of weight, I mean, billions and billions of tons. So if the glaciers are melting in a, in, in a big way, then, uh, you know, you are relieving weight from the geological structure, which previously was compressed by the weight, and now the weight is gradually being removed and the uh, various uh, layers that are under stress will seek a new, e new equilibrium and what it will do is that it will begin to spring back or spring, in, spring up into another uh, relationship with each other on top, on top of the, the various plates and some of them are being really hanging onto each other anyway by the fingernails so when you, when you begin to uh, shift, the, shift the weight ar uh, around on top of them some of them may just let go, and when they let go, that's an earthquake. So uh, the uh, Sichuan province is in the foothills of the Himalayas, and it is certainly very much uh, a, a part of the same geological structure that will be affected by, and are being, is being affected, obviously, in, in the form of that, uh, that earthquake uh, uh, due to uh, glacial melt, which is in turn due to global warming. So that is another uh, support for the, for the fact that, uh, you know, to your previous question, whether global warming is real, uh, that global warming is real. And uh, actually, if we don't take care of global warming, talk about a, a localized uh, uh, situation like the Himalayas, the Himalayas are supplying just about all the water for the watersheds of uh, Southeast Asia, including India, including Southeast Asia, uh, four, three or four or five rivers. And if the glaciers are all melted off, these rivers will dry up. And what uh, you know, what's going to happen then to the people that depend on these on these uh, rivers? There are one to two billion people depending on these four or five rivers. If they dry up, what's going to happen? Okay.